So indeed, as the title suggests, today we're going to be taking a look at Cyberpunk 2077 running on Linux. Now, the first question that you might have is, does this work? Well, impressively enough, with it being a new game, it actually does work. Kind of. More on that later. Now, first things first, if you want to get this game running, I'm sure there's lots of tutorials out there, but the sort of short version of it is, install Lutris, which is a open source games manager, search up Cyberpunk 2077, and then you can install it like you would install, well, pretty much any other game on Lutris. It's really, really easy, and you only need to go through one installation process. There's no messing around with wine, there's none of that, it really just works. So let's go ahead and hit play and I will show you the game running. Now, this might not launch with me recording, so I might have to cut the recording and then get it to launch. Oh no, it does seem to work. So I will cut the recording now and I will see you in the game. And here we are in the game on the title screen. As you can see, on the title screen everything seems to be working perfectly fine. So let's just quickly go in the settings so I can show you what settings I'm at. As you can see, I'm on low across the board, which, yeah, I kind of need that for the game to run. And on the video uh, side of things, I'm on windowed borderless because I had some issues running it full screen on Linux, and I'm running at full 1080p, which I'm sure someone's going to say that's not really advisable, but it seems to work fine for me. And for the sake of this video, I should probably tell you what my specs are as well. I've got 16 gigabytes of RAM, an i5 CPU, and a GTX 1060, and that's the 6 gigabyte version. Now, having gone on YouTube and looked around, apparently the game should work fairly well on that hardware, but as you're about to see, it really doesn't running under Linux. And I'm not quite sure why that is. Maybe it's the overhead introduced by Wine and Proton, or maybe it's something else. But if we go into the game now, as you can see, it does look very impressive, even at these very low settings. But as you can see, it's barely laggy. We're not getting a great frame right here. Now I don't have an FPS counter, but I'm going to assume that this is probably easily below 30 FPS. Now, is it playable? Yes, probably. But I'm definitely hoping that there are, are going to be some improvements down the line to help this run better on Linux. Uh, whether that be in the form of an update to the game or, you know, more likely to Wine and Proton. But I've got to say, even though this isn't super impressive at the moment, I am amazed that a game can work pretty much day one on Linux, and a few years ago I probably would have never expected that that would be the case, let alone have it run this well. I mean, this is totally playable. So, all in all, that's the conclusion to this video. Can you play this game on Linux? Yes, absolutely. Is it ideal? Probably not. You might want to hold off for a little bit if you want the best possible experience. But this game does work day one on Linux. So that's it for today's video. I thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.